This is a quick overview of the backing track player. This app is designed really for practice. It'll play a music file uh, and most importantly, it can be controlled by a MIDI foot controller. To begin, you would drag your uh, desired music file onto the app. So just select and drag and that sets up the player. This drop down is used to select the MIDI port that your MIDI device is communicating on and the MIDI channel. So my device is on MIDI channel one. Uh, you can use the buttons, so play the file, uh, restart automatically stops and starts. So it's kind of a one button push. Uh, you can also use a space bar to toggle play and stop. There are a set of speeds, so you can speed up uh, the backing track, or more likely, while you're practicing, uh, slow it down. And what's important is while the speed changes, the pitch does not. Uh, this is the play mode screen. You always get back to it by pressing the play mode button. The set of MIDI commands that are used to program your external MIDI controller are available here. And there's a MIDI monitor in case you're having trouble setting up your MIDI controller when uh, MIDI messages come in. They will show up here, and that can be helpful uh, if you're working to debug uh, issues on your uh, setup. To return to the play mode, press play mode, and you can continue. I've got a MIDI foot switch set up. Okay, here's my MIDI foot controller. I've set up this switch to alternate between play and stop. So switching it on turns it on and turns it off. I have this switch set up for stop, so it simply sends a stop message and this one set up for play. Thank you. Hope you use it and enjoy it.